Hello, today I would like to show you something interesting. Over here, over there on my desk is lying electronic Tonio T1 self sealing, self bag replacing electronic trash can. I purchased this only for a video. That's because I've got almost the same model in my kitchen and I was curious what's inside so I found an offer on the auction site with a broken unit and the plan was just to turn it into pieces and take a look how it's built but I ended up fixing it here is the model number, so you can clearly see 13.8 uh, volts and everything is Chinese. I believe this is an older version that I've got. That's because it's using sealed acid battery and the power supply is providing 13.8 volt, which is a good float value for a 12 volt battery you have to be extra careful that's because this battery have a size of very popular 6 volt SLA battery but this is indeed a 12 volt here we've got the fan for creating vacuum and the pressure is going to push new bag and this is our main board as you can see the device is quite complicated it's getting feedback from many of sensors but first let me show you how to open this safely so here is the back of the trash can here was a two silicone rubber feet you remove the screw and the back plate have these locks on the edges they are not clips they are just a very nicely designed locks and it lock like this so to open this you just need to push it downward and it slide that way be extra careful not to slide it too much because we've got a two wires one from the switch second from a charging port and you have to unplug them from board which is located here and let me show you what happened here is a better close-up this is the fuse 6.3 amp in SMD form factor I did not have exactly the same so I just solder two wires and use this inline fuse holder this is just a fuse holder for a glass one there is absolutely a lot of room to glue it for example here so it's not going to rattle you just need a fast acting fuse with uh, some sort of holder. I would like to show you how the ceiling element looks like. It was located and screw in that location. At a first glance it was looking like a one element, but it can be taken apart. So this is the ceramic piece. Here we've got the wire that is glowing red hot and the power supply wires. As you can see, that part have a very small hole. This one have a much larger and that's because we into the larger hole, it have this small piece that is a wedge and it was holding the wire in place 
So what you can do, you can remove the, the wire like this, and you can see it's just crimped. Here we can do exactly the same. And those two pieces are separated. So the only thing that we need to do, I purchase uh, different sizes of a uh, cantle wire, and that one looks like a pretty close match. And I'm going to crimp it, do not solder. It will be uh, too hot. I'm going to crimp it. And the one part will go through this like that. And the second part is going to be put the last. It will make a tension and we are going to put this wedge. So I'm going to repair it. That's what I've got. I put new wire, I crimp it and I put into the holes. If you would be wondering where I get the crimps, I just cut the, the tube part and use plier to crimp it into the place. And this is how it looks like. We have to put it together and see whether it's going to work or not. This is the heating element in place, ready to be powered on and tested. And we are ready for the first official run. As you can see, we've got the brand new element, never used. And let's try to let's try to power it on and see what's going to happen first. That part worked. And let's try to change the bag. Now it should seal. The effect is not good. As you can see, we do not have a full seal. It ended up, we do not have to change anything. I just make a human error. I was trying to seal empty bag and uh, that was the problem here i put something inside and it's making a perfectly 100 percent good seal you just have to just have to wait wait it down so if we put something that is pulling the bag down you're not going to seal a empty bag one two three and let's take a look it's going to make a 100% uh, good seal. The weight now is pulling it to the down and you've got a, you've got a, yourself a perfect seal. This is a perfect seal. Okay, so we've got a really good fix. Everything is working correctly. I checked the charging. It's charging. It's replacing the bag. It's opening. So we've got a good fix. This is how, how you do it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.